Hello Tiki. In our previous tutorial, we have learned how to start and close Microsoft Word by using launch word and close word actions. Now, in this session, we will learn how to work with write to Word document action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace between launch word and close word actions. In most of our Word automation, we will write data to Word documents. Write to Word document action enable users to insert text in specific position within a Word document. This can be done at the beginning or end of the file or before or after of the specific bookmark. Additionally, users have the option to append a new line before the inserted text or not, depending upon their preferences. Now, if you see on my screen, I'm having write to Word document action where I'm having four properties or parameters. The first parameter is the word instance. We're going to select the word instance where we have initiated the variable by using launch word action. In launch word action, we have stored the instance that is word instance inside my variable that is word instance. I'm going to select the same word instance over here. Now, the second parameter is the text to write. I'm going to give the text over here what text we have to write inside my document. That is, I have given hello techies, welcome to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. This is my text, where I can select this text from the variable also. As of now, I have given directly over here text to write. Now, the third parameter is the append new line. What is this mean append new line? If I'm having a text inside my document, how to write the data? It should be in the new line format or it has to be at the end of the existing text. For an example, I'm having a document over here that is document one. Now I'm having some text over here. Hello techies, welcome to Power Automate Desktop. Whenever you're going to append new line, what will happen? It will go for the new line over here and some other text will be added over here. This is append new line whenever you're going to enable it. Now, if you're not going to enable the new line, in that case, what will happen? It will be at the end of the existing text and then it will be continuous from there with the last word without appending new line. Or else, based on our requirement, we can add at the starting of the document also. That will also can happen. All right. Now, if you see over here, append new line, specifies whether to append a new line at the starting of the overall text to write to the document. Now, what is this write to text? That is the fourth parameter that what we are having. I'm having four options over here. One is beginning of the word file or end of the word file or before bookmark or after bookmark. Based on our requirement, we'll choose the option for the write to text. All right. Now what we'll do at the first case, I'm going to write the data to the document that is text to document and then we'll see how it will be right. Let me click on save. Now before running this desktop flow, we have to know where this document will be stored. How can we know that? Let me click on launch word. There you can see launch word I have given with a blank document right and the instance visible. Yes, I have enabled it. In that case, what will happen? It will create a new blank document and it will be stored inside my C drive users in the documents folder. Okay, I will show you that. And then the make instance visible, it will be enabled over here. It means it will open the document and then it will show visibly over there and it will write the data to the particular document, right? Let me click on save. Now, to make you understand, I'm going to give a breakpoint over here at the action number four. And then let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run. Flow execution started. There you can see at the first step, it is going to launch Word document by using launch Word action. And there you can see the instance has been visible because we have given make instance as visible so that it has been visible. And after that, by using write to Word document, it has written the text over here inside the document that is hello techies, welcome to Power Automate desktop tutorials. Right. I have given the breakpoint over here at the close word. Now, let me minimize this. Now, whenever I'm going to run this close word, what will happen based on the actions which we have given inside the close word, it will save the document or save as document or don't save the document. Now I have given save document so that it will save the document inside my C folder 
that is users and inside the documents folder. Let's click on run. Now the flow has executed successfully. Now let me go to the folders. There you can see I got a file with the name of hello techies. Let me open this. There you can see I got the text in such a way. Hello techies, welcome to Power Automate desktop tutorial. This is my first scenario. Let me close this. Now I will go for the second scenario. What is that? I have to write this text as a append new line for the existing document, right? I'm going to give it append new line. And then you can see write to text document. It is the beginning of the file. To make you understand, I'm going to give it the text over here. I'm going to change the text over here. Beginning of the word file. Okay, I'm just giving the text over here and then I'm going to click on save. Now, whenever you're going to write the data to the text, it will be adding at the beginning of the word file. But here in my launch word, I have given open a blank document, right? I want to change it to the existing document because of we have to understand it is going to be writing to the existing document or not at the starting or the beginning of the word file. Now I'm going to make it launch word over here as open the following document. And then I'm going to give the document file path over here. I'm going to select the path by clicking on browse. And then I'm going for the documents there in our tutorial we have created hello techies because it will be coming with the name of hello techies what is the text we are given at the starting right now i have selected the path and then if you see open re as read only if i'm going to enable it i cannot modify this document so that i'm not going to give the property open as read only i'm just going to disabling it all right let me click on save now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run Flow execution started. I have given a breakpoint before close word so that you can understand how it is going to be writing the document. Now you can see the instance is visible. There you can see this is my existing text. That is hello techies. Welcome to Power Automate desktop tutorial. This is my existing techies. Now write to document what it will do. It will write the text at the beginning of the word file. There you can see the beginning of the word file is the text which we have given right. It has been given at the starting of the word file, right? Let me run this once again because of to close the document to save the document. Now the flow has executed successfully. Now we'll go for another scenario that is write to text at the end of the word file document. I want to write that text at the end of the word file. Now at the same time, if you observe, I have given up a new line also, right? So that what will happen, it will create a new line and it will goes for the end of the file. All right. Now let me click on save. And then let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started. There you can see it is opening the existing document by using launch word. And then if you observe over here, it has given as a new line, right? So that it has been appended at the new line over here. You can see one line is there, which is the existing document. And then for the existing document, and then it is going for the new line by appending new line. And then it has written at the end of the word file document. All right. Even we have given the text as beginning of the word file. The text has been written at the end of the word file document. All right. Let's run the desktop flow for the continuation to close the word document. As part of another scenario, I'm going to write the text before bookmark. So first we have to get the bookmarks inside our word document. For an example, I'm having some text over here and then I'm going to insert and then I'm going to add a bookmark by clicking on click bookmark. And there I'm going to give the bookmark name as Power Automate Desktop. And then I'm going to click on add. Right. This is my document. Let me save it. Now I'm going to close this. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going for write to word document. The parameter write text to I'm going to select it as before bookmark and what is the bookmark name that we are having it that is pad is my bookmark name and then i'm going to click on save right now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started there you can see launch word action 
will initialize the existing document or open the existing document right to word document it will write the text before the bookmark right it is the before the bookmark which we have given that is pad document all right now let's run the flow to close the word document now the flow has executed successfully now once again let's click on the write to word document action now in the same way where we can write the text to after bookmark also there is another option that we are having after bookmark where we can go ahead and we can write the text after the bookmark and again we have to give another parameter that is bookmark that is the name of the bookmark all right let me close the write to word document action i hope you understand how to write the text to the document by using write to word document along with that we have seen how to append a new line in the word document and also we have seen how to write the text to the document before the bookmark or after the bookmark and also we have seen how to write text to the beginning of the word file as well as the end of the word file by using write to word document as part of this tutorial